I would just like to extend a few thanks, if I could, as we've closed today um, and, the, and the forum. Um, firstly, I'd like to um, thank Phil, and I'd like to thank John, who I saw a moment. I'll start again. Um, uh, I'd like to thank Phil, and I'd like to thank John, and I'd like to thank the entire THE team. Um, uh, a couple of days ago, I think you uh, described our style or my style, or who's ever style, is ex as exacting. I don't know what you quite meant by that, um, but I guess that um, uh, we've been demanding on ourselves, and you've been demanding on yourselves and demanding of us, but we've formed a great team. It's been a great outcome, uh, and uh, you have, uh, you have uh, very high standards uh, to maintain, and we, uh, and we I hope, uh, lived up to that. But we've enjoyed the partnership. We've enjoyed the privilege of uh, Times Higher Ed um, uh, allowing the conference to uh, come uh, to QT and to Queensland and to Australia. And so I thank um, THE and particularly Phil and John. Um, I'm going to go through. I'd like I'd like to thank the QT team. I'd also lo like to recognise Renee Heinmarsh um, from ATN because the ATN uh, group has been very supportive. Uh, as indeed other uh, institutions have. But if I may, I would like to, like to uh, name uh, a variety of the folk involved internally in the effort. It'll only take me a minute or so. But I'd like to thank Susie Dubbishir, Arun Sharma, Sheila Whittleston, Sam Nielsen, Lawrence Stedman, Jan Rayner, who, um, with me, uh, we, we actually worked really hard with THE on the development of the program from beginning to end and I think they collectively should be thanked. So that group, please. <laughs> uh, I'd like to really thank the group who I would like, I think we should describe them as the people who made it happen. Um, they're both people from my office and more broadly from, um, uh, from the institution in terms of the actual delivery. And they would include Kathy Thompson, Kathy McCabe, Jenny Petley, Teresa Short, Amara Azim, uh, Nazim, Mike Kuhn, Alan Isaac, if I didn't mention him. So I'd like to thank that group too. Um, the others that I'd like particularly to name in AV support, Alan Rattray, Ross Hutton, Terry Kwong, Anthony Whitaker, Pasquale Heredia, Roger Wang um, from Media, Rose Trapnell, Rob Kidd, Deb Noland. I'd like to thank all of those from security. Um, we've had um, good security support, and those folk um, work uh, extensive hours, and, and uh, they're, not, uh, they're not prominent, but they're very important in terms of facilitating the occasion. Um, the precinct is a beautiful precinct, and we have about 16 members of the staff of QT precincts have been tied up with this, uh, this event. I also thank the ambassadors. So to all of those people, thank you very much. Uh, we also had earlier in the week uh, a lot of people, some of whom have already been named and others who worked in the pre-summit workshops. When uh, Phil and John and, and uh, ourselves were talking about the program, we realised that you just shouldn't be holding a, a summit. If people are going to come to this part of the world or to this city, even from Australia, then we should try and make it a busy number of weeks and uh, a, a busy number of days. And to it we had uh, five pre-summit workshops and a lot of you participated in those and we thank you for, for doing so. Um, I'd like to thank each and every one of the speakers um, who have participated over the last couple of days. We greatly appreciate um, your contribution, your important contribution, uh, and, I'd, and you have been uh, thanked as we've gone through, but I'd collectively like to thank all the speakers now. Um, it remains for me to, and I'll now segue to uh, Phil, to thank all of you as participants for your contribution. It's been a great couple of days. We've enjoyed hosting it here, and I hope you've found it to be uh, a rewarding experience from your perspective. Uh, and from, from our perspective here, as your hosts, we wish you a very safe travels home. Phil. Thanks once again to, to Peter and the QUT team. So actually, I, much as I always enjoy having the last word, I'm not going to have the last word. I want you to have the last word. 
So instead of a closing uh, speech, we've made a video uh, frantically over the last couple of days, and I hope we can cue it up right now, and you can have the last word, and thank you very much indeed. is that the younger universities have developed an emotional intelligence. Our universities, particularly our young universities here in Australia, are ready to take the next uh, leap to work on the, the global stage. The Trump and Brexit are a wake-up call for many other countries. One of the best um, lessons we've learned in recent years is starting to have multidisciplinary hackathons for students, where you bring the students from humanities, from the STEM areas together, and it is about problem solving in a compressed space. In fact, I'd go as far to say that you cannot teach innovation in a lecture theatre. It, it has to be through experiential mm -hmm. learning. Applications to social sciences and humanities are up over 20% and it's from the combined degrees. Is success an A? Is it a high distinction? Um, because if that's what it is, then we are going to continue to teach in disciplinary silo. I um, encourage our young, nimble, able, uh, young universities to really think about those targets they set and not just say, we want more women, but we actually want women of colour and we want Indigenous women and um, recognise the diversity of the opinions that are brought to the table. We can give the uh, traditional university to run for the money. What does it take to make higher education relevant to the next generation of students and enterprises? Do your institutions value the level of critical thinking that goes beyond academic success? You know, we'd have these groups where we'd have a Nobel laureate, an undergraduate student and everything else in between. And everybody got heard. It was great hearing Maria talking about staff actually being trained to listen properly. Well, the conference has been a great experience for us at, uh, at QUT. Uh, I hope it's been a great experience for other Australian delegates. I hope it's been a great experience for those who've come. I bounced a few hand grenades in my direction. <laughs> <laughs> I better kick them back. We'll go to the pub later. <laughs> Good. So what a wonderful Young University Summit. Thank you to QUT for hosting such a great event, but thank you to all of our delegates for the stimulating, provocative conversations and wonderful networking opportunities.